Hi friends, now that the weather is cooler, we can focus more on hearty belly warming dishes like this week's recipe for beef stew. My recipe variation is to use a slow cooker. This dish is super easy to make. We prep, let it cook during the day, and then later have a hot and delicious meal ready to enjoy. Here's what we need to make the stew. Beef chuck roast, salt, curry powder, soy sauce, vodka five spice marinade, hoisin sauce, vegetable oil, minced garlic, finely diced onions, tomato paste, carrots, coconut water, water, lemongrass, star anise, bay leaves, and fresh cilantro. The beef tendon is an optional ingredient. Because it takes a while to cook, we'll want to cook this ahead of time and have it ready when we make the beef stew. Let's get started by cleaning the beef tendon. We sprinkle both sides with salt. Next, we drizzle the tendon with white vinegar. Now let's rub the salt and vinegar solution into the tendon. The salt and vinegar helps to clean the tendon and neutralize any odors. Let's rinse the tendon now with cool water, washing off the salt and vinegar. To cook the tendon, we place it into a large pot filled with a generous amount of water. Cover the pot and bring it to a rapid boil. Let's turn the heat to low and simmer for two hours with the lid on. After cooking for two hours, we should be able to pierce the tendon with our chopstick and it should have a little resistance. Let's give it another quick rinse with water. Place the tendon into a large bowl and then the bowl into the refrigerator. We chill for about two hours. The tendon is really slippery when it's warm and it's much easier to cut when it's cold. If this is our first time working with tendon, it is tough to cut and we have to put some muscle into it. Let's be sure to hold the tendon firmly when cutting as it can be slippery. We cut the tendon into chunks about half an inch to one inch thick. Beef chuck roast is a really good cut of meat for stews. It has a decent amount of fat and the meat stays tender and juicy even after cooking for a long time. For this part, let's cut the beef into one to one and a half inch chunks. Now we marinate the beef by adding salt, curry powder, vodka five spice marinade, soy sauce, and hoisin sauce. Let's mix everything together, combining the chuck roast and tendon with all of the spices. We cover the bowl and let the meat marinate while we continue with the next steps. We need half a cup of finely diced onions. Let's divide the onions in half and set aside for now. For the lemongrass, let's cut off a six inch section of the stalk. We peel off the outer layer of skin and discard. Now we cut the section in half and then we lightly smash each end to release the aroma. Next up are the carrots and there's nothing fancy here. We just need to peel and then cut into one inch sections. Let's heat a wok over medium heat and then add vegetable oil. Add half of the diced onions that we prepared earlier and the minced garlic. Now let's stir fry everything together for 15 to 20 seconds. Next, we add the tomato paste and stir fry it with the onions and garlic for about 30 seconds. Increase the heat to high and then add the beef. We stir fry for five minutes, searing the meat on all sides. This searing technique enhances the flavor and color of the meat. First, the carrots. Let's add them into the slow cooker and we can arrange them so they're in a single layer. On top of the carrots, let's add the bay leaf, lemongrass, and star anise. Next is the beef and we layer this right on top. Let's add the remaining spices. We add the coconut water and then we add just enough water to cover everything. Cover the slow cooker and then set the cooking temperature. Using a slow cooker is super easy and the timing doesn't have to be exact. On low temperature, we would cook seven to eight hours. On high, three to four hours. Just before we're ready to serve, let's chop the fresh cilantro. We combine it with the other half of the diced onions, which we set aside earlier. After cooking for most of the day, our delicious stew is ready. Everything is nice and piping hot. The beef is flavorful and juicy, and the carrots tender but not mushy. For the finishing touches, we top with the cilantro and onion mix, and then freshly ground black pepper. Enjoy this delicious beef stew with some crusty French bread, or serve it over noodles as a hearty noodle soup. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned.
This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.